Oh okay, god, so we're back in layout. Now we're going to try after dimension style to test text style. So you can see a tray up here on the right side that says text style. You can choose to customize it first or to put the text first. This is the label for text or the shortcut letter T. So let's try to double click and name our units, let's say unit 1. You could also choose to drag. However, you could not resize the text, just the bounding box. Okay, the first thing we have to learn is this bounding box. So if the text is bounded, you can unbound it up here above size, which says unbounded. It's going to remove any boundary that you have placed in the first place. And the next things you will see here are the center things you use in Microsoft Word. Example, center, bold, bold italic, depending on the fonts you like. So I have a font called Architect Small Block, which we will use in this video. Set the size to 16. You could also use Control to copy a text and edit them later on. However, if you try to put a new text, it's going to go back to the default setting. So again, you can choose to use the eyedropper tool or the letter B as in boy. Click and match. Or Click on B, match the properties, and press T for text for your next text. You can erase with the eraser as well. Okay, what other things can we do with text aside from the text style? We could use our right click to align text. For example, unit 2 and unit 4, we want them to align on center or vertically. You can just right click, look for align, and vertically. You could also experiment to align them in other ways. Example, horizontally, that brings them together. Horizontally aligned is good for texts that are aligned horizontally or beside each other. Sample unit 1 and unit 3. So I click, hold down control, click again, right click, align, left. So it's aligned on a left alignment. You can also choose other forms such as bullets, point one, enter, point two, point three, click. So this is about text. It isn't here in text style, however, there are times where we want to put square meters as M raised to two. You can choose to select the number 2 and look for text above here and look for baseline superscript. That superscripts number 2 so it looks like meter squared. If you don't want to have a hard time going all throughout here, you could customize your tray or toolbar by right clicking customize look for commands and t text you could choose to drag them up here which shortcuts you like example smaller and bigger as well as left center 
right as well as my superscript so the next time I want to make meter squared I could just select number 2 and click on that superscript I want them aligned to the left I can just click on that these are shortcuts that came from textile there are also anchor points such as anchor top anchor center and anchor bottom let's try anchor center anchor center enter anchor center let's see the difference between anchor bottom anchor bottom anchor bottom for now you may not see the difference however if we have a line say like a dim dimension line and we try to use anchor center and click on that line say natural grade line it goes to the center of the text box compared with anchor bottom natural grade line and as you can see the text is also centered so a nice way to go about this is to align left and anchor bottom natural grade line there you go you have other text say for example you didn't edit the properties here and this is the let's say second floor finish line instead of trying to move this all the way and trying to align it manually you could select both text box right click align to left it aligns them together layout is always more beautiful when things are aligned together